Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm Loki! I'm a genius! Hey guys, today I have a huge squishy haul from Korea, Taiwan, and Japan. And I actually went to these three same countries back in 2018, and last time I could only find squishies in Japan, but this time I found squishies in all three countries, so I'm really excited to show you guys. Starting off with Korea, I found the majority of squishies at Artbox, which is like a chain of stationery stores, and I found these amazing Molong donut squishies, which I had seen online before, so I was really excited to find them in person. And there are six different designs in this series, but it took me forever to find the last pink design so I actually had to go to like eight art boxes and I was really happy when I finally did. <laughs> so here's the full box set of the Molong donut squishies. Here's the white Molong with the donut hole. I think the packaging is so adorable. I also have the white Molong that doesn't come with the donut hole. There's also this tan version. And I love the little sesame seeds on there. And it's pretty slow rising. Here's the chocolate one. Tan donut with the hole in the middle. And finally, the coveted strawberry design. And it comes with whipped cream and a strawberry on top. I also found a bunch of these Molong blind box squishies and I had never seen them before so I'm not sure if they're exclusive to Korea or not but I was really excited and I opened a few of them up already. Ah! It's cute! It's cute! Okay, I'm gonna open up two more. I got the same one! <laughs> but it's cute though. It's different! Oh, I got the one holding the watermelon. It's cute. So I'm going to open up some more blind boxes and see if I can get all 12 designs. Yay! So I got Molong in this little chick costume. Super soft and slow rising. Oh my goodness. This is my third Molong in a penguin costume. It is super cute, but obviously I already have this design. Aww. This is actually one of my favorite designs. It's the Molong in a frog costume. It's so adorable and I love the little bow tie. This one is so cute. It's Molong in a little pink costume holding a heart. And I really like the pink color of this one. Next, we have Mo Long in a bear costume, and I love the little red bow tie there. Next, we have Mo Long holding a strawberry. So here we got another duplicate of Mo Long holding a watermelon. Ooh, we got a duplicate of Mo Long in a bear costume. Yay! We got the plain Mo Long design. Here is Molong with the brown markings. So this is the little chick character called Pew Pew, I believe. This one is also one of my favorite designs. This one is Molong in a squirrel costume, and I love the little acorn. This was the final design I was missing, the white one with gray markings. So here's an overview of the full set. I think these are so adorable and I really love how tiny these little figurine squishies are. I also got some Sanrio figurine squishies which I was pretty surprised to find. And I only found three designs in the first store and then I found my Melody in another store. So here they are and they all come individually boxed with their own labels. So here's the Pom Pom Purin figurine and it is Sanrio licensed. And here it is out of packaging. It is super slow rising, a lot more slow rising than I expected, honestly. And as you can see, this was made in 2022. Next, we have Karomi. I think Karomi is so cute, and I really like how detailed it is. Here is Cinnamoral. And this one is the densest, but also the most slow rising, I think. And here's the little tail at the back. And finally, we have My Melody. Again, really love the details and quality of this. And actually, this one might be my most slow rising. 
And also from Artbox, I got these blind box mochi squishies. So it comes in eight different designs. So I got this design, which I don't think they look that similar, but I think it's like a cream bread, but it kind of looks like a dumpling to be honest. And then I got this one, which I think is a cupcake. And then I actually got a whole box of these mochi squishies, and these are a little different because there are actually 12 designs here, but I wanted to give them out as extras and orders, so yeah. And next I went to Latte World, which is kind of like Korea's version of Disneyland, and I actually ended up finding some squishies there. So here's the bread loaf, and it's really soft and strongly scented like bread. And here's the melon bun. And then I went to this bookstore and I found some squishies there, including this Zanmong Loopy squishy set. And I had never heard of this character before, but I ended up seeing a lot of its merch afterwards, so I guess it's a pretty popular character there. But here's the squishy set. I think it's super cute and I really like the packaging. So first we have the coffee mug, and I kind of like how it's frowning. And it's pretty slow rising as well. I have the cupcake squishy. this macaron, and I like the expression with its tongue sticking out. And then you can see the licensing here at the back. And finally we have this cake roll with a dizzy expression, and I really like the quality of these, and then again here is the licensing on the bottom. I also went to a Toys R Us and I found these Minecraft blind bag squishies, and I really hope that I get the bee design. Yay! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of creeps me out a little bit, but here it is. But, um, I don't know, it just, the bee, it looked cuter in the, in the picture, to be honest. And the final thing that I got from Korea was from this store called Butter, and everything in there was so cute, but they didn't have any squishies, so I decided to get this figurine. And I think this is so adorable. Honestly, everything in there was so cute. But yeah, this was everything that I got from Korea, and now moving on to Taiwan. And I wasn't expecting to find too many squishies in Taipei, just because I didn't really find any last time. But they have a ton of claw machines and capsule machines, and I actually ended up getting quite a few. <laughs> so first I got this mini loaf of bread from a claw machine, and I'm not really good at them, so I was pretty happy to get this. I somehow also ended up getting this animal donut. Yeah! I also got this mini burger squishy. Yeah! It's kind of hard, but it's squishy! But moving on to the capsule machines, the first place I went to was the Raoha Night Market, and I found these super cute Qualia food squishies. Ah, it's an apple! And it's squishy! Wait! Now I need them all! And I did end up getting all five designs. And here's the little pamphlet. And here's the apple squishy. And it's not super slow rising, but it's really soft. And there's the licensing by Qualia. And here's the broccoli. And this one's a bit more slow rising. And I just love the cute little faces on these. And here's the tomato, which I think looks super cute and derpy. And definitely one of my favorite designs for obvious reasons. Here's the onigiri or rice ball. And finally, we have the sausage octopus. And this one might be my most slow rising one. And the next day, I went to the Sherlin Night Market and I found these Sumiko Garashi squishies, which I was also really excited about. And here's the little pamphlet. So first I have Neko, pretty slow rising, and then the back has the licensing by Sanax. Here is Tonkatsu, and I really like the texturing on this one. I have Tokage, Penguin, Abikurai. And finally, Shiro Kuma. And then I found some capsule machines outside of 7-Eleven. And I got the toast design. I also got a couple of these steam bun squishies. So I got this orange design. And it also comes with the little parchment paper at the back. And I also got this pink pig design. And yeah, these are all the squishies I got from Taiwan. And moving on to the final country, which is Japan, we can continue the theme of capsule machines because I found so many squishy capsule machines. And I started off in the city of Osaka and I found this jumbo bread squishy from Yell. And when I first got it, it was smushed inside of the capsule, so I took it out for it to decompress. 
And this is pretty slow rising and it's scented like bread. I also got a squishy from this other bread series. But yeah, here's the squishy and it comes in this cute little paper bag. I also got one of these banana squishies and it looks like they have some really big designs but I ended up getting this one. I also found these mini Pasco bread squishies and I thought they were so cute and I also really like this bread clip. So this is the pack of English muffins and there are actually four separate squishies in here and these are squishy. I got this little melon bun and again I just love how realistic this looks. I got this mini apple pie and I don't know if you can see but it has layers there. Here are the breadsticks and it actually comes with six individual squishies. And finally I got this bread loaf and it actually looks really similar to the bread loaf you'll find in the supermarket. And the next city I went to was Kyoto and again I found a bunch of capsule machines. So first I got one of these bare melon bun squishies. I also found these J Dream Honey Toast Squishies. So it's pretty interesting because the top part is hard, but then the toast itself is squishy. Here is the vanilla toast box. And I really like the wafer sticks on this one. I have the matcha flavor. The strawberry one, which comes with these cute little cookies. And finally, the mango design. Then I found this fruit squeeze toy, and I ended up getting the banana one. So it's just this little keychain, and then it squeezes out yellow filling. I also got one of these J-Dream fruit mochi squeeze toy things. So the kiwi part is like a separate piece from the mochi. And then the mochi is just kind of squishy. And then I found a claw machine with these cat paw squishies and I decided to go for it. I don't think it's possible, but... Wait, it's genuinely not possible, I'm not gonna lie. Because the packaging's too big. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm Loki, I'm a genius, bro. I'm a genius, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. So I got really lucky with the first one and I decided to go for it again. Oh yeah, bro. So I ended up getting these two cat paw squishies. And then I went to this anime store and I found these Jujutsu Kaisen squishies. I really wanted the panda design. Is it the panda? Bro! What? What is this? I don't even know what character this is. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really watch this anime. What is this character? Leave it in the comments if you know. <laughs> and then I went to Kitty Land and I did find a few eye bloom squishies there. And I also found this capsule machine of these Nick licensed squishies. I don't really know what characters these are, but I thought they were pretty cute. So I got this yellow duck character. And I also got this white rabbit. And it has a pretty funny looking face. And the next day, I went to the Kiyomizu Dera temple, like the last time I went to Japan. And I ended up finding these paw squishies. And I got this pink design since it was the most slow rising. And I really like how the tag is also shaped like a paw. And the final place I got squishies from in Kyoto was Seria, which is like a Japanese dollar store. So I got this crab bread squishy, which I thought was super cute. And out of curiosity, I also got one of these natto squeeze toy things. So it comes in one of those plastic trays like real natto does. Ooh, and it feels really squishy and soft and sticky. And then you can just slide the top back on. And then the final city I went to in Japan was Tokyo. And again, I found a ton of gachapon squishies. So first I got one of these fruit squishies. I also found these J Dream dessert squishies. So first I got these butter cookies, which are my favorite design. And these are super slow rising. I also got what I think is like a cake slice, but I'm not really sure. I have the chocolate cake roll. I got this bomb kitchen pastry squishy. And finally is this cream bun. And this middle whipped cream part is, I think, silicone because it's not squishy. I also found these J Dream pancake squishies, and in hindsight, I don't think I was supposed to pull them apart. She'd be rippy. But yeah, here are the pancakes, and they're pretty thick. And these are also quite slow rising. But as you can see, they're kind of just like hanging on by a thread. And then at another store, I found these super cute cat burger squishies. And as you can see, these are also licensed by J Dream. So here's the first design it has a white bun. 
and the inside filling part is kind of hard. There's this burger with a black bun. And I also have these three which come individually wrapped. So the green wrapper burger has this orange bun. The pink wrapper burger has this white bun. And I really like how tiny and detailed these are. And I just realized this, but you guys, this actually smells like burgers or like a grilled meat or something. It's kind of crazy, but it actually smells pretty good. And finally is the orange wrapped burger, which looks like a cheeseburger. I also got one of these J Dream bread loaf squishies. And I got this matcha design. And it comes with a little bread tag, as well as these pastry squishies. So here's the taiyaki. And this pink bomb kitchen. And the final thing that I got isn't really a squishy, but I thought it was interesting. It's like this pack of jelly or something, and you can squish it, but it's sort of more like some kind of jelly material. So yeah, those were all the capsule squishies that I got, and now moving on to the squishy stores. The first one I went to was this Tokyo Harajuku store. So first I got these two Tokyo Bakery cat lattes, I think, and they actually had a claw machine for it, but I wasn't able to get them. So I decided to get the matcha and strawberry flavors. And you can take them out of the cup, and I really like the squish of them. And I also got this Dick Bruna Squeeze mascot blind box. And here are the different designs. Loki want this elephant, but we shall see. Oh, oh, wait, this is kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. I got the Miffy rabbit. And it's not super squishy, but it's really cute. And here it is up close. And then as you can see, it is licensed by Nick. And then I went to the main street in Harajuku and I went to the picnic store. <laughs> so first I got this trio of melon buns. So here's the green one. And these are scented like super sweet bread. Here's the coral colored one. And finally this multicolored one. I also got both sets of the donuts. So there's this galaxy one. And these smell like blue raspberry candy. And I also have this colorway. And this one is kind of scented like pina colada to me. I'm not really sure. And this one is the multicolored donut. I got a set of these bread buns. These are super duper soft and slow rising. I also have this trio of butter rolls. And these are also very slow rising. And then I got one of these push bonbon squishies. I actually don't really know what it is, but it has a cute little bow on it. I also got a set of these truffle squishies. So here's the vanilla truffle and it comes with its own little chocolate wrapper. And the squishy itself is super super soft and slow rising. Here are the strawberry truffles. And finally the chocolate truffles. And finally I got these super cute ice candy water squishies. So I got this design and this is what the tag looks like. And it has these little fruit chain slices inside. And I also got this design. And next I of course had to go to the iBloom store. So I had to get these two milk cartons. So this one's the chocolate milk. And then here is the blue milk carton. I also got this Marmo cake roll. And here's the squishy. I think it's so cute. 
And now I kind of wish I got the other designs. I only got this vanilla one, but they also had strawberry and matcha. And next I got this little duck tart. I just thought this squishy was so cute. And I really like how textured the feather part is. And then I got this mini Marmo Sweets blind box. And these are all the different designs and I really want the top four. I ended up getting the, I guess like milkshake. Super duper slow rising. And next they had these butter squishies that I really wanted, but you had to enter a lottery and draw a four to get them. So I decided to go for it and test my luck. So I pulled number three twice, and even though I didn't get the butters, I got these other cute squishies. So I got these sushi squishies, and I'm not really sure if these are limited edition because they kind of come in this normal plastic packaging, but yeah, these squishies are super cute. And then I also got these double scoop ice creams. So each scoop is actually a separate piece, and then I think the ice cream cone is sort of made of like a soft silicone. But after that, I still wasn't satisfied, so... I need to go back for the butter, guys. And I ended up pulling another three, so by that time, I was feeling pretty defeated, but I did it one more time, and... I did another pull, and I got a three for the fourth time, so I was really sad, but then they let me switch, and I got the butter! And I chose this one, it's the caramel flavor. Guys, this took... Oh! Way too long. It's super cute, and it's actually scented like caramel as well. And then I also got to choose one of these milk toast squishies, so I got this melon flavored one. But there are two flavors of the butter, so the next day I had to go back. And this time I decided to do two pulls at the same time. Yes! So I got the other butter design. And then I also chose the other design of the milk toast. And finally, from the iBloom store, I couldn't pass up their own capsule machine. I'm going for one of these, but that one's my favorite. So I got this Minion Mashlow in the pajama design. And then I found this new squishy store that I hadn't been to before, so I decided to check it out. And most of the squishies were common squishies, but I decided to get one of these Molong donuts just to compare with the ones I got in Korea. So I got the strawberry design. And it's honestly really cute, but when I compare it to the authentic donut, there are quite a few differences. This one is a lot bigger, and I would say that the color is a little bit darker as well. But moving on to my final day in Japan, I went to the Sensoji Temple in Asakusa, and along the streets, I found a squishy. It's actually a plush squishy, which I've never had before. And here is what the tag looks like. And it feels super soft, and the squishy itself is actually pretty slow rising. And then I also found a couple more plush squishies in a shop nearby, and I decided to get this Cinemora one, and I just thought it was super cute. I really like the fluffy bear costume. And the plush is super soft, and here is what the tag looks like. So yeah, here's an overview of the squishies that I got in Korea, Taiwan, and Japan. And by the way, I did get some duplicates for some of the squishies in this haul, so I'll be listing those up on my website if you're interested. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!